Here we go. It's not live yet. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood. A neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Thank you. Yep. Since we're together, we might as well say. Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Hello, neighbors all across the world, even. Maybe, I guess. I don't know. Or at least in the Somerville We're area. We're huge in the Philippines. That's correct. We're glad that you're here today for Musical Monday. I'm Eddie Santa. This is Braden Kirshner. And we've come just to brighten up your Monday just a little bit uh, to get you out of those Monday doldrums or those uh, hard days back at work after a great weekend with your family and everything. Sometimes it's a little tough, so we just want to bring a, a little bit of a bright spot uh, to you. And we want uh, you to be encouraged, maybe a few laughs. And maybe some, uh, maybe some good music even. What do you think, Braden? Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> Welcome to Music Monday. We're glad you're here. All right. We have Josh in the studio. Cue hey, the applause. Hey. Uh, applause. Wasn't yes. ready for that. Jo Hold on. <laughs> nope. Didn't work. Hello. Hi. All right. <laughs> we are killing it. <laughs> You never know what you're gonna get. Yeah, here, you do. Uh, yeah, you do. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we've, yeah. Li we've lived it. So, yeah. uh, uh, but you're uh, maybe tuning in for the first time. So, and we're sorry to hear that. Uh, yes, I know. No, but Musical Monday is. <laughs> hey, hey uh, uh, send me a pause. <laughs> All right, I heard. Uh, Yay! There it is. Hey, thank you. Our studio audience just woke up. <laughs> yep, and all decided to clap at the same time. Yes, correct. Um, so we're right on time at 4:07 today. And if you're just joining us, this is a conglomeration, sure, medley of songs that we have decided to put together today. Today's theme is the solid rock because Pastor Burt preached on that. He said, you build your house on the solid rock or shifting sand, and which one are you building your, yours on? And that reminds me of a friend I had in the Marines um, who went to Iraq, and he said, um, he said, if you're not getting shot at, it's a good day. And, I, and I've never forgotten that because it really puts things in perspective. You know, if you got a bad haircut or something, you're not... Uh, are we on? Are we good? Yeah, we're good? All right. If you got a bad haircut or something, at least you're not, you know, um, avoiding a sniper's nest. So, you know. There you go. So, uh, it's so all if, about perspective, I think, is what Braden right. is trying to say. So, if you put so, your, uh, if you put your nobody, faith on the rock. If nobody good. shot at you today, you're having a good Monday. And even if they did, if your faith is uh, on the solid rock, you know. You, that's true. You know where you're going. That's if something true. happens. That's <laughs> so, true. On that uh, note, <laughs> moving right along, right? Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, sorry, Taylor Lefko just texted me. Why are you here? <laughs> and I was like, "What?" And I realized that's the name of his message yesterday. I asked him for it. Oh, there you so, go. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "I'm here because I work here." What do you mean? Oh okay. my goodness! All, All right. right, cool. Like I said, you never know what you might get here on Musical Monday. Doing this? Okay, all right. <laughs> My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is When he shall come with trumpet sound, oh, may I then in him be found, dressed in his righteousness alone, faultless to stand before the throne. 
On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. You know, sometimes Josh puts reverb on our voices and it makes it sound makes it sound better than we are. Well, that's pretty good. He better put a lot in today, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Taste I'm here. Oh, yes. <laughs> Get it. Get it. Get it. They're playing in a Goodwill, y'all. The honey sauce. Don't get that honey sauce on me. I don't like the way. I want you to sing like her. With my chicken wings. Look how much passion she's singing with. Taste the biscuit. That guy's Taste working the in the background. The biscuit. Are they in a Taste goodwill? The spread. <laughs> Taste the goodness of the biscuit. Let the it roll. Let it roll, spread. Josh. <laughs> Look at Mike O'Neill. <laughs> I don't like the way it mixes with my mac and cheese. <laughs> Is he, he's not really when playing the KFC. keyboard. It's just a beat going. He got that special oh, sauce to stir my curiosity. Oh, I haven't seen the whole thing. <laughs> just give me a five-piece meal. Oh, what a deal. If you're just joining, this is Eddie and I live. All for me. <laughs> From the Goodwill store. Yep. You know I'll take coleslaw on the side. I can tell you wanted to try the potato wedges. She's not trying to rhyme, is she? <laughs> Here it goes. This man has they have a three camera setup. He's not worried about the key, is he? Uh, all right. Digging that, man. <laughs> and there you go. Like I said. You never know what you're going to get today. I didn't even know that was coming. <laughs> We've been hacked. <laughs> We've been hacked. I meant to ask you if you could do me a favor, if you could sing better. That would be awesome. <laughs> Can you do that for what, me? Was that on the text? <laughs> Somebody texted that? <laughs> no, that's just me talking to you. Oh, okay. Yeah. All righty. I've enjoyed my time on Musical Monday today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, come on back. Uh, he's got a super heavy microphone. You can't stand and hold that for long. I'll wait on you. All right, just me and dead air. There you go. My worst nightmare. Okay, come on back. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you talked me into it. Uh, Chris Wiggins said we need to know about the other sides. What about fried okra, the baked beans? <laughs> Why don't you talk to Mike O'Neill and... Uh, Those potato wedges were pretty sweet, though, <laughs> I must say. <laughs> No, uh, I don't know. She probably turned off. She said, hey, said, guys. Hello, it's Musical Monday. Whoa. Boom, we're out. <laughs> All right. Relate relate that video somehow to um, your faith on the solid rock. All right. I'll play some music well, for it. <laughs> let's see. I have to say that when I bite into Delicious Biscuit at KFC, it reminds me of the goodness of God because uh, he's certainly more sweet than any buttery biscuit. All right. You're stretching, but keep going. Uh <laughs> Keep going. That's about all I got on the biscuit. Unless you put some gravy on the side, and that's just kind of the more grace of God that he gives us each and every day. Did you hear that sound clip I can use? That sound bite? That was great. <laughs> all right. Rock of Ages. This is just one big test. It's <laughs> one big test run. <laughs> all right. Can we do this one seriously, please? No <clears throat> smiling. <clears throat> This is a serious. This is one of my dad's favorites. So well, you don't. Gotta, you got to do it. Uh, well, he's not going to watch it, but <laughs> tell him you did it seriously. All right, right, will do. Do you want a real intro or no? It would be nice for once. <laughs> I'm going to ignore that comment. I have to figure out where to start. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Pretty good. Rock of ages, clap for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy wounded side which flowed be of sin the double cure. Save from wrath and make me pure. While I draw Oh! 
you question what led to the decision of not going the tempo i set in the intro uh it was pretty close what <laughs> i forgot what tempo you said. roll exhibit a <laughs> <laughs> that rolled on about 10 minutes yeah. ago i think <laughs> i was just joking so uh this is the time of year where sometimes people ask us why are we celebrating halloween and just to be clear we're not celebrating halloween it's a pagan holiday and it's related to day of the dead which is the next day we have nothing to do with that we're simply having a trunk or treat, which is a neighborhood gathering. And so if you want to be a part of that, there's still we still need trunks and stuff and bring some candy too. Um, but that kind of stuff uh, comes up every year, and I just want to be clear on that. And I was going to say something else, but I can't remember, so I'm going to pass it to Eddie. Oh, well, thanks. Well, um, I just always think of it, uh, we always do our trunk or treat uh, thing, and it's not celebrating uh, Halloween. It's celebrating the people that God created that yes. need to know who Jesus is, and that's what we use trunk or treat for. We use it as an opportunity to share the gospel with people. Uh, we don't just give out candy. We give out opportunities to start discussions and start talking mm -hmm. with people and see where they are. We love to hear their stories. We love to see what God may be doing in their lives that may seem like an impossible struggle or something like that. We'll play some scary music. But actually... Talking. Uh, is an opportunity for them to see God at work. And I think that's the, the biggest thing that we can do is to engage in some conversations that can point them in the right direction for what's really going on. Mm -hmm. I couldn't repeat everything you said, but I agree. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that music um, had nothing to do with my comments, so I was kind of bum-fuzzled about that. We better go to jokes with Josh. Uh, we're dying up here. Yeah. We're dying up here. All right, Josh, what you got for us today? You better have that sound effect ready, too. <laughs> Which one? The sad trumpet? Yes. <laughs> or trombone. Sorry, yes. I said that wrong. Uh, it's not really a joke, but I found this online the other day, and it says, uh, my bestie and I got kicked out of a church because I got baptized with bath bombs in my pockets, and everyone started running when the water started boiling and changing colors. <laughs> That's a pretty cool idea. <laughs> Drop some aspirin. Don't do that. Or the Alka-Seltzer. <laughs> Don't do that here, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pocket full of Alka-Seltzer. <laughs> or a Diet Coke Mentos baptism. Mentos baptism. <laughs> yeah. You can't get baptized in in uh, Diet Coke. No. Yeah, that'd be kind of bad. Yeah. It'd look kind of bad, too, in the yeah. pool itself. So. Yeah, even though it's mostly water, it's not, it's not biblical. No. Nah. So... Well, you might lose. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This show is rolling right along this today. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. So we're going to sing Only King Forever, which we did. Um, we've done it a lot recently. But anyway, um, we're going to we're going to invite Eddie to sing it in a country accent, not to make fun of the song and not to make fun of Jesus, but only to make fun of Eddie. Uh, so, um, well, you're doing the lead, right? I'm yeah, just sure. Doing the harmony. Sure. So you better sing it that way too. Then We're I gonna guess. make "Only King Forever" a country song, just for fun okay. today. Okay. Slow down. Our God, a firm foundation. Our rock, the only solid ground. The nations rise and fall. Rise. I guess it rise. Kingdoms once strong now shaken, we trust forever in your name. I sound like Sam Lawson. In the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> sounds like Pickens. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like Pickens in here. We Wait. trust <laughs> the name of Jesus. You all right? Here we go. You are the only king forever. Almighty God, we lift you higher. You are the only King forever, forevermore. You are victorious. You are the only King forever. Almighty God, we lift you higher. You are the only King forever. 
forevermore. <laughs> you are victorious. You got an Alabama Southern accent. I've got a Florence one. We're not <laughs> matching. <you> <laughs> I'll have to work on that. All right, we lost three people. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> A rough Monday even here in the studio. All right, why don't you take that bridge? We lift. We lift our banner high. Oh, that's rough. We lift the name of Jesus from age to age you reign. Your kingdom has no end. We lift our banner high. We lift the name I lost the accent. For a, <laughs> you are. <laughs> you're taking the lead. I'm supposed to be on the harmony. You got it. Forevermore, you are victorious. You are the only king forever. Almighty God, we lift you higher. You are the only king forever. Forevermore, you are victorious. saying here we go to myself <laughs> all right <laughs> there's that song sound i was looking for a minute ago if you would like to hear eddie sing a hymn out of the hymnal let us know right now what it is and we have our hymnals here and he'll sing it in a southern accent for yeah. everyone's enjoyment <laughs> oh. or just your for, regular accent for uh poor folks there we can poor read your uh, dramatic line here would you like to put yep. some music to that and read but you read it but you read line? it um okay when we lift up. No, 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 the accent. Oh, no, this is like straight. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Curious now. This is what Braden had prepared to say. Uh, was I wrote this Sunday? for Chris. I wrote this for Chris. Oh, for like Chris? Like months ago, yeah. Okay. When we lift up the name of Jesus, we can share in the victorious life that we receive through the grace of a God who loves us and made a way for us to experience the fullness of a life he intended for us. That's like a Pauline sentence. That's like yeah. <laughs> like uh, really That's like long. one of the coins you buy. Comma, comma, semicolon, <laughs> comma, comma, comma. Yep. Yeah. That's like one of the coins it's you still buy. A good, it's still a good Abbey. thought, though. Hey, I spent last week at a monastery uh, for some <laughs> quiet time, and you heard that right. Yeah. And uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's pretty thin. Yeah. I think you better elaborate I went a little to, bit. Uh, I went to Mepkin Abbey for some quiet time, for some prayer time, for some spiritual time. I do screens and tech all the time, so I just turned it off. No clock, no times. It was awesome. And, uh, and I'm back in the world of technology now. Yeah, and we're falling apart already. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it was fun. you got to unplug sometimes. Rest yeah. is biblical. That's so. correct. Uh, rest is said 250 to 550 times in the Bible, depending on the translation. And I don't have any follow-up to that. <laughs> what just, happened to the other 50 times? I, it's according to translation, yes. <laughs> 250 to 550. What would you call rest if it wasn't rest? I don't know. Break? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Take a break. All right. Somehow, can you work uh, Mepkin Abbey to Cornerstone like a, like a bridge? I'll play as you think. Okay. Anytime now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought that was the intro. <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> So, uh, as Braden went to Mepkin Abbey, it's also an awesome place for us to take some quiet time to reflect uh, upon what God has done for us. And I think uh, some days, uh, like today, with all the things going on in the world, it's kind of a crazy place. And sometimes we don't know, um, with the clutter of all that coming in, with all the social media, with all the devices that we have, sometimes it is good just to unplug from that and to... Uh, let the Lord speak to you because uh, when he starts speaking, it kind of puts things in perspective because we know that he is the one who is strong. He's the one that is our strength. He's uh, our hope, our salvation. 
and despite the things that are going on in the world that that really trouble us and that's easy to see all around us uh, you watch the news for more than two minutes and you're gonna you're gonna feel anxiety you're gonna feel uh, pressure just to you know like what can I do in this situation maybe some hopelessness but when we kind of turn the TV down or off and when we uh, start looking at God's Word, we find out that there's a place where we can go and receive uh, just the ministry of the Holy Spirit in us. And I think it takes some of that anxiety away. It takes that hopelessness away and replaces it with hope. And it turns uh, what, what we see as a, as a horrible thing that we can't overcome or we can't do anything about till we see that God is fully in control. And he's going to take care of it. And he said to lay our burdens down at his feet uh, because he's the one that we can uh, count on each and every time. And he is that rock. He is our cornerstone uh, that we've sung many times over the past couple of weeks. And maybe there's a reason for that because I think people need to hear that. God is that solid rock upon which we can stand, that our hope is built on him, that our um, his blood, His righteousness alone are enough for any situation that we may face. And, and maybe you've got some turmoil in your home, or maybe you've got some turmoil personally that you're struggling with, or some sin that seems to be taking the best of you. And uh, maybe it's a good time to turn that over and just confess that to the Lord, because He says basically, just confess and repent, and He's going to forgive, uh, because He promises that in His Word. And as Christ followers, we believe that He will forgive, and the Bible says He scatters that sin as far as the east is from the west, and uh, that's a long way away from Him, and it allows us to be in His presence and to worship Him and to uh, let His Spirit work in our lives. So when you're feeling that way, maybe a little anxious, maybe Monday didn't go as well as you thought it might go, uh, then maybe this is a good time to remember that Jesus is that rock. He is our cornerstone. He's the one that we can rely on in all times, good or bad. But he's the one that's going to help you through. So good job. shall we sing? I, we, before we start, we have a saying in my house um, that we heard from somewhere, but it goes, um, you can't. It's hard to play and talk. <laughs> you can't, I'm going to stop for a second. There you, go. you can't worry and you can't give it to God and worry at the same time. You can't pray and worry at the same time. Like if you're, if you're really giving it to his, laying it at his feet, then it's done. Move on. You can't, can't Absolutely. worry about something after that. So something to think about. All right, we'll go back to playing. <laughs> you got this one. I'll help you out. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. Christ alone. the Savior's love through the storm. He is Lord, Lord of all. When darkness seems to hide His face, I rest on His unchanging grace.
Thanks for joining Excellent us today, y'all. We'll yep. see you next week. Have a good Monday. Hey, let's do that in like a blues version. Second verse. The darkness falls. Go ahead. When darkness falls, seems to hide his face. I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale. My anchor holds within the veil. My anchor holds within the veil. Chorus. Christ alone, cornerstone.